my name is Scott. I'm here to show you how easy it is to open a 10-foot door on a stacking trailer when you set a, uh, have a set of cables uh, like a garage door has and springs versus a winch system which is extremely dangerous in mine and many other professionals opinion. Um, if your door's over 700 pounds you have to go with the winch or some other system but if it's 700 or less uh, that's what my spring company tells me is around the limitations of the spring. And it's based on the cable. This is how easy this is. One handed. Now you got to stand aside always for safety when you start to pull the door down. Otherwise it's kind of ridiculous. But here we go. This is how easy it is. No hands. The door doesn't even slam. It, in fact it stays up. I don't know if the camera sees it. We'll take a look. But if it doesn't see the complete position, here we'll adjust. That's where the door free falls. I'll do it again and show um, where it goes. But that's where it seems to want to free fall just on its own weight. That's how simple this is. Uh, very easy. I've got a bad shoulder and I'm able to do these jobs. And I'm able to um, put them up and down by myself. This is how easy it goes up. I take two hands. Push, and I just walk up behind it and push with one hand. Boom. Up, in, and it's latched. I'll take it back down again so you can see where it free falls. It's this easy. Okay, that's when it's adjusted properly. Now I put out the extension, and then I push it down, and it'll stay here. That's when you know you've got your door adjusted correctly. Um, we adjust these based on the spring company who sells me the hardware. They basically give us the amount of wraps that the spring should have, where the cable position goes on the door, and that gives us everything we need. Some people are concerned with walking into these cables. If you're at an event or somewhere all day and you're worried, all you do is you just snap on a little plastic cover or a uh, insulated uh, pipe cover or you tie streamers to it, no big deal. Um, basically, it's easy. Right here, you'll see this is where the winch hookup was. They bolt this through into the steel framing, and then your winch pulls on this with a cable, and it pulls it up to the top. Um, we just, everybody I know in the business doesn't like that system. If you have no choice, sometimes you'll live with it, and you figure out a safety mechanism. Um, I'm going to show you. The, um, the springs themselves. Just give me a second. I'll release the camera and I'll take it in and show you here. So, this is how this mechanism looks when it's not covered. I have not covered it. I leave it so I can show people how it works, how easy it is. If you notice the windings, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pretty much 10 to 11 windings. And how you get that is when the spring is not wound, you spray a line on it. As you wind it, you get lines, and that gives you how many windings you have. And then you make micro adjustments as needed uh, in order for this to give you the right tension. This is a dual spring system and you can see the rollers on the end. This is where the cable rolls up into. There's two bolts that actually hold that wheel in place. So the safety is if one came loose you have the other one, the door would come down but not near as hard. A person could probably survive that. 